Processing data in batches is essential for higher throughput and efficiency for many common examples, including syncing data between apps like Salesforce and NetSuite, ingesting lead data from CSV files into an app like Marketo, and building ETL pipelines to load into data warehouse tables. But sometimes the upstream app publishing data has a larger batch size than the size that the downstream app can consume. And sorting the data into batches before processing often requires complex logic to perform. Workado's recipes made it easier to set up the logic, but it still took time to create and maintain the recipes. The newly introduced repeat in batches feature automatically takes care of this logic, so you can set up robust batch processes even faster. Let's see this in action. In this recipe, we need to move about 50,000 records from Amazon S3 into Salesforce, which can only accept 200 records at a time. Once we set up the scheduled pull from S3, Workado can parse the data into a CSV. Now let's put repeat in batches in action. Choose the repeat action option, and then select batch of items in the repeat mode dropdown menu. This option contains the powerful logic that takes care of everything needed to moderate the data stream. All you have to do at this point is select the batch size. Finally, you simply choose the app where you want to load the data. In this example, Salesforce is chosen and the action Create Records in Batches is selected. Different apps may have other actions, so make sure that you select the batch action for that app. And that's it. As you just saw, Repeat in Batches shrinks the time and effort needed to build recipes. It also reduces the risk of bugs cropping up in loops and helps boost throughput for batch data processing. To learn more, just request a demo using the link in the description below.